Hey guys, so this is my first vlog ever. Don't mind the shaky camera. I'm shooting it on my on my phone um, with a, a pair of earphones here. I don't know, I, th I thought I'd give this a go. I just feel instead of always consuming content, uh, to produce content and give back is, um, is important because uh, one of my goals has always been to uh, create more than I consume, which is becoming increasingly harder and harder to do with so much great content being produced out there. I love watching other artists and motivational speakers on YouTube. I, I love following great thinkers, uh, tech innovators and and um, reading books, listening to podcasts, you know, there's so much material out there. It can almost be like a black hole, a wormhole of, of goodness. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd get up and try and, and do something as well myself, uh, having been inspired by so many uh, great people out there. Uh, so um, I'll just introduce myself. Uh, my name is Karma and I, I live in Thailand. I was born in Singapore. I'm Thai Indian, so I have a Thai nationality, but my heritage is from India, from North India. I, I primarily uh, make art. Uh, I'm really lucky in my life uh, in the sense that I'm at a position where um, I'm free to create every day. Uh, I make my own schedule, I do what I want. Um, I make art, uh, I sell art. And uh, yeah, it's taken a lot of self-discipline to get here. Um, I have supportive people around me, uh, like my husband and family. I, I make paintings pri primarily. Uh, I draw. Um, I used to do a lot of street art, but I had some run-in with the cops in Thailand the last time I did that, so I've been a bit put off. <laughs> I'm here. I'm, I'm 30 years old, so I'm probably I'm probably seven or eight years into making art full time. Uh, I started out as a graphic designer, uh, doing the corporate route, working in advertising, but I felt it just wasn't for me, you know, so um, perhaps a lot of you out there can relate and have similar stories of wanting to pursue a life of passion. I feel like that's very much the tone of my generation. Um, it's like we've seen our parents, how much they've strived. Uh, how much they've made money, the end goal, and we wonder whether it's worth it. Um, yeah, I've come to a point where living simply but doing what you love seems to be the recipe for happiness uh, rather than sacrificing your soul and your dreams um, to, to, uh, uh, to reach a really high financial status, you know. Uh, not to say that you can't make a lot of money doing what you love. I think you can these days, you know, I think everything's possible. Yeah, I'm just trying this, so it might sound like a massive ramble. Uh, I don't know, but um, why not, right? Uh, hopefully, uh, I can come up with ideas of how to uh, share some things I've learned along my, my journey of, of uh, trying to uh, keep making art and sharing it. Um, it's been amazing, it's been wonderful, it's been really hard as well, it's been a struggle, um, especially this year. This year has probably been the toughest out of the eight, but I feel like I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel now. Um, yeah, I just after, like when you first, I find that when you first start something, there's so much passion and so much enthusiasm. Uh, for it, you know, like when I left my job uh, my, in Bangkok in, as a graphic designer and I moved to India, I moved to India for a few years after leaving my job and when I moved there, you know, I, it was kind of a way to uh, reset uh, my values in life and decide how I really wanted to live and, you know, do to do things that I wanted to do and not what I sh I, I'm told I should be doing or think I should be doing. So that was a wonderful two years that I spent living in a rural town in West Bengal. Um, I mostly just painted and um, it's really cheap to live out there so, so I kind of uh, uh, didn't have to worry about money and could be uh, disconnected from, from a kind of capitalistic uh, uh, urban environment and just kind of be out in nature and just reset my mind. So that was really beautiful. And then coming back, you know, I had uh, so much, coming back to Thailand, I had so much 
energy and passion and inspiration and enthusiasm to uh, to exhibit, to show, to share, to give, to make, to create. And at the same time, uh, there was a sort of gallery boom in Bangkok. This was in 2013, where a lot of art spaces were opening up, you know. And I think a lot of that had to do with uh, Facebook and how accessible making a Facebook event is. So people could find out about new venues and uh, new art. And this really helped art spaces uh, uh, create a following, you know. So so yeah, I was part of that and it felt, it felt really good uh, to be part of something that's growing. And this year, after 40 <laughs> exhibitions, I've had almost 40, more than 40 shows, mostly group exhibitions in the past um, seven years. And after doing this, you know, like how to, the passion is kind of, was kind of waning, you know. Like it's you're you're kind of still walking up this mountain, and um, yeah, there have been moments of amazingness, moments of why the hell am I making art? Is there any purpose? It's not functional. Does anybody really care? Does it matter? Um, and moments of where you know I hear feedback from others, and they feel really really inspired by what I'm doing, and that just keeps me going. Or I, I make a sale from one of my work, and I see how much that collect is happy by having a piece of uh, by having something beautiful um, in their in their lives in their homes welcoming my art in their homes you know so that that was really encouraging as well but yeah there's definitely been moments like what the fuck am I doing shouldn't I just you know go back to design should I make something functional something useful for society you know like yeah and ha have a trade skill or how am I, how am I gonna make money um, you know sometimes in the creative process like art for art's sake can feel uh, contrived um, but then I'm reminded that uh, creating art in itself is an act of protest because when you when you make when you when you make art uh, you are literally uh, creating another world and you are disconnecting from from uh, the capitalistic system so the act of ma making art is a higher action in itself because it comes from your, your soul and you know it's not made uh, it's not made for material reasons you know like honest honest art so yeah and I come back to that realization but it's just it's always a back and forth thing because I earn from my work as well so sometimes this confuses me you know um yeah, and I've come, I've come to the same statement in my mind uh, when I think about it, which is that I, I don't make art for money, but I don't give it away for free either. And I think that statement really works because um, I'm, f I, I'm freely creating. When I create, I don't worry about the market. I don't worry what people like. I don't worry what's trendy. I don't worry about what's going on in art fairs or what, who's the latest artist on Instagram or Facebook that's killing it. You know what style is in. I don't worry about any of that, and you know I'm, I'm pouring out from my soul and being authentic. So, um, but at the same time, I know it has value, and I'm not going to give it away for free. So, so that helps me maintain that 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 uh, balance in a way of creative freedom, yet um, uh, being practical and uh, being able to earn from it. And, keep working because you know materials cost so whatever I make from art I, I put back into into art and for my materials and whatnot though this giant pink thing behind me is made from um, recycled satellite dishes I, I, I took two apart and then I put them together like this you know and I, I spray painted it pink <laughs> I just thought it's such a beautiful shape and satellite dishes are a redundant piece of technology now Nobody uses it. Tech changes so fast, and it's just fascinating to me what gets left behind, whether it's floppy disks or, you know, gramophones. Oh, actually, that's made a comeback. People like to collect LP records now. But yeah, you know what I mean. Um, okay, so I've gone off on a tangent. Right, so, um, yeah, so I'm in enjoying doing this because, you know, making art uh, is a very... It's, it's, it's something that's done in solitude and often the best work, your real work, your greatest work is done in solitude and I'm grateful 
for being for having learned how to how to make constructive use of solitude um but at the same time i'm in my head all day <laughs> and i don't talk to anybody so i figured i'd start talking uh to you guys out there i don't know who may be listening but uh, why not you know um uh, what i love about social media and platforms online is everyone can have a voice and deservingly so no it's very democratic in fact no one is more important than the other everyone has access to the same tools it's a level playing field generally speaking um yeah uh, and I, I really love that uh, anyway so that was my ramble for today i, I hope you guys found it interesting and i look forward to hearing comments and out there um, yeah check out my other videos uh, other time lapses it's it's a new channel i've just started doing it but, um, i have a lot of work on my tumblr uh, which is art by karma and my instagram which is at karma fly and my facebook page which is at art by karma so you can check out my previous happenings over the 